Come on, guys. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Alright, he's five months old. He's already doing three or four pounds of meat a day. And at this age, they're just busy. And they're strong. These are powerful animals. But good hunters, uh, good hearing, good eyesight, uh, better sense of smell than people once thought. Uh, certainly not as good as the uh, bear or the wolf, but better than ours to be sure. Uh, I oftentimes People used to, some people used to think they don't have any sense of smell at all, that's not true. And I'll occasionally hide the meat around the house, and he'll use his uh, sense of smell to go find it. Interestingly enough, all of the cats for the size of them have relatively small hearts. Hearts only a pump. <laughs> so they tire quickly. Can't keep up that top speed very long. So they have to stalk as closely as they can, and then when they think they have a chance, they'll go for it. But if they don't catch it soon, first three, four hundred yards or so, they're too tired to continue. They're going to have to chase it up and get something else. Next time you see a cheetah chasing an antelope on, on National Geographic, you'll see 300 yards, 400 yards, they're tired. They're getting it up. Look at those claws, though, over there. So they grab it with those huge front feet. Those claws are retractable. They're laying around and walking around. The claws are back in the sheath. When they're grabbing their prey or my legs, they extend those. And when they're feeding their side teeth, which are called carnasials, aren't flat for chewing like ours, they're chunking and swallowing. They polish the bones with those very rough tongues. If you've ever been licked by a domestic cat, you know how rough the tongues are, a lot rougher on these. And uh, in the case of the lions, uh, they will obviously finish the food. Even if they take something the size of a zebra, they can put them away. Even if they take take something the size of a zebra, there won't be anything left because you have all of those cats feeding. One of the solitary ones, cougars, leopards, uh, they knock down something that they can't finish. They'll hide it uh, and lay up nearby and return again later to feed. So if you're out in cat territory and you see a partially covered carcass. And to see the cat's tracks, you might want to be paying attention. It's probably not too far away. Well, rarely are they a threat to humans. Uh, occasionally over the years, uh, they have become uh, man-eaters. Uh, almost always something wrong with the cat. It's old, injured, wounded, uh, can't catch its normal prey. Even then, most of them will starve to death before they start coming near us. They've been hunted for thousands of years. But I do have to say, that when they start feeding on humans, uh, they, they do stick with it. Uh, there's a reason for that. And it's not because they got the taste of human blood or any of that <laughs> other nonsense. Uh, again, they're opportunists. They go after whatever is easiest to catch. And we are the easiest thing out there to catch compared to a wild beast or a zebra that can kick the brains out. So you have to take out that one bothersome cat, and then you're okay. Let's, can you pull that sheet up and open that door? Oops, sorry. That's all right. <laughs> but uh, he's on education alone. He'll be going to a zoo soon. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs>